say hello to my little friend. Look at that. It's like, do I have to do this much longer? How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We lived in a Prius full time for three years, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And this is epic! And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper and I bought our next home on wheels. We met with my mom in Denver to go pick it up and make the snowy drive to Bend, Oregon. Here, we unload to do our first big van project, but also encounter some car issues. Got your home, Cam. We check out our favorite bakery, go over why we chose to buy a van versus all the other rigs we've tested, and leave off our adventures installing heated floors. Check this out. Good morning, you guys. Wow, it snowed a lot. Good thing we bought a four by four. Uh, so with phase one of building all done, it is time to move on to phase two. But first we gotta load up and head to Portland. Got a little surprise there for you guys. Oh, I'm dreading the load up. We're gonna have to do this a few <laughs> times. It's like the never ending load up game. Load up, get it out. Load up, Woo! get it out. Yay. Yeah. Let's knock some of that snow off the uh, backup camera <laughs> and uh, let's rock and roll. <gasps> Just the dog stuff. More dog stuff. Don't need the gym today. First time working out in three weeks, we've been so sick. Oh, no! <sighs> I hate moving. This Airbnb, they can have everything. I don't even want the rest. What you got there? What you got there? Look at the good helper boy helping us move. Oh, you want me to put that inside? Yeah? Come on, good helper boy. Oh. Really? You're gonna leave the box down there? I thought you were helping us move. You kidding me? Are you at least gonna drive? No. All right, guys, let's hit the road. Can't forget my trusty tripod. It's like a, it's like a weapon. Oh, good, it's melting too. Wait, do we have anything? Where's that towel? What if I use this box? That's what I was thinking. Okay, ready? Oh God. We're gonna have to get a long stick to hit this with. <sighs> Should I use my tripod? What do you think the tripod will work to get knock it off, you think? Oh, sh no. Oops, excuse me. Oh, no. Wait, well, how what else are we gonna get what it What did we do? We don't have a scraper yet. What did we do with that, um? Hang on. No, no, no. It's working. Dual purpose tripod, baby. Look at that. Maybe not. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. I'm the cutest boy in the world. My name is Camper. <laughs> Excuse me, Camp. <laughs> <laughs> Straddle. Whoops. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Woo. Woo. Let's hit it. Ah. Yay. All right, guys, we have a four hour drive ahead of us and we are going straight 
straight through Mount Hood. Those mountains are some of my favorite in the country and it is gonna be a winter wonderland. Oh uh, yeah, in case you guys were wondering why my face is like red, I had an allergic reaction a few days ago and it will not go away. <laughs> Yikes, and no, I don't know what I'm allergic to. snow people no wonder everyone's coming up here fresh powder bro let's go snowboarding I will never ski or snowboard again after that meniscus tear last year nope I'm out if I remember correctly I think there's a coffee shop up here oh yeah it's open There it is, Fernies. We are stopping at one of my favorite dog themed coffee shops. Look, Camper knows we're here. Good boy. That, look at all your friends on the wall. Camper, are we gonna put you on the wall today? Oh my God, look how handsome he's coming out. Hello, Thank you. Thank you. Sure, you can give it to him. And you're the best. Bye. Breakfast for lunch for dinner. <laughs> you want cheese or, cheese or everything? A little of both. I don't know, cheese. We are here. I highly respect people who build their own bands. I think it's a huge accomplishment and takes a ton of talent. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I spent a few weeks trying to build out my Prius, uh, learning the electrical, taking the seats out, doing woodworking, and learning all of the finishing touches. And this is where my decision came from, because during those two weeks, I learned how much goes into things. And when you're building a van, it's like building a home. There is so much that goes into it, people don't understand. Alongside with that, I can think of a lot more things I'd rather do with my time in the next six to 12 months than renting a space, renting a shop, renting all the tools. And as much as I think it might be fun to learn all these things, I have a lot of other interests. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave this to the professionals. Uh, over the past couple of months, I've been doing a ton of research, trials and interviews on different van companies who I'm gonna go with to build my van. And it came down to Overland Van Project in Portland, Oregon. I really fell in love with them. The owner, Dustin, is super cool and they are letting me take full control of customizations. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna meet the crew. We're gonna move into one of their vans for the two months that it takes for them to build it. And it is gonna be awesome. Hi! Hey, this is Camper! Hey! Are you happy? Look at all your new friends, Camp! Hi! All right, all right, go ahead. Of course, we're huggers. I'm a friend in band. Uh-huh. You ready to see our home for the next two months? I am. Hi. Oh. Pretend right in. We're home. Perfect. Wow. 
Mom, check this out. This is in here. so dope. Yeah. Let's load it up. Yeah. Woo, woo. Yeah, this, is this is gonna be wild. Woo. All right, you guys. Second to last time, we're gonna be moving, hopefully for a while. We're almost there. Jackery. Oh. oh my God, yeah, I have three of these, but now I'm only gonna need one. The Jackery Portable Power Station has been my main source of power now for the past three plus years. Uh, at any given moment, I will have two to three stations with me. What I'll do is I will always have one charging up, whether that is driving through the carport. If I'm parked somewhere for more than a few hours, I'll take out the foldable solar panels and I will charge up directly through the sun or if I am anywhere near electrical outlet, I will have it charged there. Simultaneously, I'll be using one of the other systems to charge my computer, run my satellite internet. Honestly, I've been using this every single day since I got it. I truly believe that a power station is an essential for living and working on the road full time, but it also makes everything so much more comfortable. I believe in it so much so that I did decide to partner with Jackery a few years ago and continue to do so. Uh, so with that being said, if you are in the market for one, please use the link in my description as it really does help out Camper and I, but also I have a huge discount code down there for you guys. All right, we are all done and loaded up. All right, Jordan, thanks. You're very welcome. You're the best. You are so welcome. We will see Have a great you track. in a day or two. Yep. Finalize all the details. Super stoked. We'll all right. Yeah. See you, man. Yeah. Ah! Yay. All right, so these guys are giving us 24 to 48 hours to figure out the colors, measurements, and all the things that we want. Uh, mostly because I can't make up my mind, and one of the hardest things for me to do is get dressed in the morning. So <laughs> we're going to take out their van, which is going to be very similar to the materials that I'm gonna use in mine and take it out on an adventure and see what we wanna do. So let's go on an adventure. Ready? High five camp. Boop. All right, guys, we have a little bit more driving to do. Uh, we are gonna surprise Cynthia here. She has been wanting to go to Yahats, Oregon for years now to check out one of my favorite coastal landmarks. So we're headed south. Holy moly, $150. That's because he has one of those bigger gas tanks yep, so yes. he can go more miles. Yep, yes, oh, time stopping. I love this thing. That was a half the tank. That was cool. Cool. I literally have to go have to stop. Uh -huh. Excuse me, Camp. Will you be driving today? Oh, uh, yes. All right, we are getting here just in time for high tide and to watch the sunset. So no one knows what's in here. I do recommend covering your windows whenever you leave the van. God, this thing is so sexy, right? The ideal time to come to Thor's Well is during high tide when it's around seven feet or higher. Today, high tide is at eight feet and the swells are pretty big, so it should be awesome. She said, did you get me peeing? <laughs> Don't say that. 
Welcome to van life. All right, we're gonna try to find a better viewpoint. You do not wanna go up to Thor's well, especially with sneaker waves. They are very real things and that's how people die. So be smart, risk versus reward. That was awesome. Now, if you guys are gonna come to see Thor's Well, I highly recommend coming during the king tides. That is when the tides are the highest. It is wild how big those waves are, but also it literally looks like there is a hole in the ocean. It is so cool. <laughs> Woo! All right, we are gonna do some more coastal exploring tomorrow, but for now we're heading back up to the van and finding a good sunset spot. Yeah, I think we should just sleep here. What do you think? Why not, right? There's no, no parking signs. Right over there when it splashes up. Do you see that rainbow? Yeah, wow. He wants to see the view. You guys, this is one of my favorite things that Dustin has created. Uh, he has another company called Alpine Man Works. Laundry bags, well, I'm gonna use them as laundry bags, for the back windows. Genius. And they can come off for when you go into the laundromat. Amazing. I mean, I don't even need a laundry bag, let's be real. I've been wearing these for four days straight. I know. Well, <laughs> same way. All righty then. Salad time. Okay, so normally we eat straight out of the bag, but these bags are very small. <laughs> so, yay. I think we might use Tupperware. I don't even know you anymore, Nicole. I don't even know you anymore. There you go, darling. Is it possible? Don't you think? Can I grow green? Cheers. I found this one. All right. You ready for bed, honey? Yes, mom. <laughs> it's your favorite daughter. Mm -hmm. I know three favorite daughters. Isn't that great? <laughs> was, my, was my hair not good? <laughs> what do we do with this? How do you take this? Night, love you. Good night. It'll just come down. Good morning, camper. Did you sleep well? Because you took up three quarters of the freaking bed. <laughs> Morning. Whoop. The ocean and condensation. Should you pay for this beach side view? Three ninety nine, baby. Three ninety nine. Awesome. I like that map. And that ruined my coffee already. Maybe we just need to buy coffee this morning. Wow. You've outdone yourself, Nicole.
Okay, so normally I go there, but they've gone completely vegan, so I kinda wanna try something new. What do you think? Yeah. Oh my goodness, so cute. Thank you. Have a great day. Look how much we got. I'm so excited to try this. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> Alright, breakfast time! Oh my god, it oh, smells so good. <laughs> ah, I dropped one! Thank you. I'm still thinking about color schemes in here, and truthfully, if it's always this messy anyways, does it really matter what color it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is pretty good, actually, for two people. Come on. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. We gotta come earlier next time so they're not sold out of everything. Mm. What time is it? Like 10. Oh. Yeah, we had a slow morning. Yeah. All great ingredients. You guys, here's something that we've learned. <sighs> Got a little kick on that one. Now, we're gonna go 30 minutes north and find a big beach for Camper to go run all of that energy out. Wear this puppy out. You ready? You ready? Oh yeah. Ready to go to the beach. This is it. Nice. Let's park in the sun. You look cozy. Yeah. You kidding me? Cozy, not crazy. <laughs> it's not as cold as I thought it was. No, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really warm out. <laughs> Whoops. Time to finalize the van. Let's go. Woo -hoo. You know what? Sandy paws, whatever. Get in there. You guys, on the side of this bridge, there are seals everywhere. Cynthia, we're putting you on seal watch here. I'm on camp and jumping out the window. Good I, job. Do you think we I, got the seals? I think you got it. And we're back. Is that Dustin? Oh, did he get in? Hey, camper, that's not your van, my dude. Good to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you. All right, we're doing colors with Sky here. Oh my goodness, I'm so overwhelmed. We're gonna get it, and you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad-free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. What did we just do, guys? We did it. We finished it. The van is designed. So in two to three months, wait for the big reveal. I'm so excited. <laughs> we did it! <laughs>